If you all watched the baddest Fox Bodies of 2023 part one, you would have saw this amazing vehicle. And when I say this camera would never do this vehicle justice, it would never do it justice, but we're gonna try today. What's happening, everybody? It is your boy Ken O'Shawn with the one and only do 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 Bill versus Bar. And on today, I got my man Mike. I got this beautiful, gorgeous red coupe that if you saw it on the street, you would think it was stock, but it's far from that. But this is hands down. This paint is popping more than you with gum in your mouth trying to spit it out. That's how bad this paint is popping. And so I'm going to talk to him and we're going to show a little bit of the car. So let's get into it. Young man, introduce yourself. Mike Medley. Mike Medley. Now, this is a... Uh, wait a minute. I see a magazine here. Wait a minute. I, I, I was about to go to the car, but what, 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 what magazine is that? Well, the first one on the left is the two-page spread done by the legendary Keith Kevin. Keith! That is my man. Keith yep. Kevin. He's, he's amazing. Yep. Got the cover on that one. Got it. And then the other one is Mustang Hub that the man holding the camera <laughs> got a cover on. Well, hey, at the end of the day, you still made it into two magazines, and it's a reason why. Tell us a little bit about this amazing notchback. All right, so this is my 91 Coupe. Uh, got the car. Had some stuff previously done to it already. And I just went and took what I started, what got me here, and just made it better. And that's what we did. So tell me, what did you add to it? What did you do to make it better? All right, so change the valve covers, change a few other little things around, cleaned up some wiring. Yep. And of course, added the blower, bigger radiator. Bigger radiator. A couple of little odds and ends, just little subtle things, because I want to keep it looking period correct yeah a little bit of nostalgia factor 90s retro kind of deal now let me ask you this like so obviously we see the blower and the polished intake how do you keep this stuff clean because i'm struggling with polished parts <laughs> you don't drive the car a lot <laughs> no i keep it polished up with aluminum polish it's pretty easy to self-maintain got it so let me talk about this paint man like obviously we're in the convention center and the paint is just looking gorgeous how old is the paint on this car i was painted in i want to say 2013 Wow. So you've been able to maintain this paint since 2013? Well, no. I've maintained it since I've got it. I did a little buffing on it, did some ceramic coat. Sweet. Polishing and waxing. So it's just normal maintenance stuff. But you know, I had a good foundation to start with. Got it. Just all, you can always better things. That's the whole point. Just True. Take what's already great yep. and make it better. That's so we did. So then here, you got the chrome ponies. Yep. Legendary chrome ponies. Yep. But man, you got this thing slammed. Boy, I can't even fit a sheet of paper between this fender and that tire, man. Why did you stay with that setup? Man, you can't beat the look. That's Top true. Sport lines had a coil trimmed off of them. It's got airbags in the uh, hot juice airbags in the rear in the coil springs. Mm -hmm. It's got Team Z upper little control arms on. Love it. That so is a great setup. The stance with those ponies, you just can't beat it. You can't beat it. And they're the original Ma Mavermont pony R's. So. And I love it. I mean, I love it. I mean, this paint is just amazing. But then as we move over to this interior, Man, so when you got the car, did it come with the Corbo seats? No, the car had the original. Well, this car was originally a four-cylinder car. It was Wait. automatic with gray interior. Wait a minute, say that again. It was a four-cylinder car. I don't believe him. <laughs> so originally car, coupe, it was red, bright red, paint coat, gray interior, and automatic. So wow. the V8 conversion was done by Kevin Lockney. And Carolina's up here, well, not too far from here. Mm -hmm. And so he did black tweed out of, I believe, a 92 factory seats. Got it. Dash, everything. So being short, the factory seats, yep, <laughs> the factory seats were not that comfortable. Okay. So I shopped around a little bit and I found these Corbo GTS 2s and they work out great. I mean, they work out great. I mean, the fitment inside of the car, they match like, I kind of like how they match the Sparkle Ford Motorsport uh, racing uh, wheel. And then that's shifted. That's a nice shifter ball you have right there. Yep. Custom made by Nifty Shift. 
Nice. It's got the Red Devil logo on the other side of it, and it's got the MGW logo on this side. So let me ask you this. So the interior wasn't black before. Is that what you said? When I got the car, the interior was black tweed. It had been switched from the original factory gray that it was when it was a four-cylinder. Got it. But it's just the way, like I said, the seats felt with me. I wanted something a little bit different. And got then it. the halos came from a guy in, I want to say, I got them off eBay. He special made them seven days from, I want to say, Malaysia to, to my door in Georgia. It was seven days. So I wanted some netted halos wow. because the factory headrests that come with these Corbos are hideous. So Whoa. I reached out to him. He's like, I know what you need. I know what nice. security you need. And boom, seven days there at the door. Well, man, that it was that. He did a nice job. And look, these seats are matching the back seats. Yeah, and you got the rear seat belts in there as well. Yes, I love yes, it. Sir. I love it. You know, I always look at quarter windows. And when I comment, I always say, you got some amazing clean quarter windows. You know, these are the hardest things from, to keep clean. From what I was told, when this car was originally painted, the very, one of the very first sets that uh, Daniel Carper Reproductions did is on this wow. car. So, well, and they've just been maintained ever since. So. Well, you've definitely maintained it. Look at that rear wheel. And look, it's even that lip, man. Like I said, you got this thing tucked in there very, very good. And then obviously, the car is just overall clean. You got the titted tail lights. Very, very nice titted tail lights. I love when we don't have the LX on the other side. That's just me personally. I don't have it neither, but. Um, I like the look of it. I said, no more LX. Yeah, no more LX, man. Like, I, I love the look. And man, you just done an amazing job maintaining it. You got that. This, hey, I got the same steering wheel. Love it. Um, and man, you just done a great, great job. Oh, man, look at that. <laughs> look at this guy in the back. I love it. Let me ask you this. You got any more plans for it? Nope. Honestly, I'm done with it. That's it. Other than all changes and normal stuff. I mean, I work on foxes on the side. So mainly, I don't have time to work on my own or fool anymore. Yeah. I drive it when I can, do little stuff. But mainly, I mean, it's, it's there if I want to drive it. And if it's there, if I don't want to drive it. Well, look, you've done a great job with, man, not only just maintaining it, but upgrading it as well. And man, the fact that you have made the magazines, it just kind of proves that, man, look, this is a very clean car and it's not a $500,000 build, man. It, like, it shows the world that, man, if you just got great ideas, man, you're gonna put a basic car together, so. You can take something that you get, like when I sold my state patrol car, I wanted something that I can get in and drive. But well, we all know, you got the whole thing built versus bought. I know, Ken, that's your platform, we know that. Here's the thing, <laughs> you can buy a car it's got a great start. Yep. And then when you have to take things apart and redo them yourself, that makes it your own. Yeah. You're not just buying something off a lot and driving it. Yeah. Buying something, okay, somebody said, all right, we got this on it first. <laughs> but I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna add this to it. Yeah. I'm gonna make it something better. So I had a great platform from the beginning. The guys that previously owned this car did a great job with yep. it. They set me up for success. Yeah. So I just took what they did I said, all right, we're going to do the Southeast Fox Body spin on them. We're going to put our own deal to it. I love that's it. That's what we did. Tell us about the Southeast Fox Body. Like, that, that, that's a known name. What, what, give me a little bit of information on that. So, basically, I focus on engine bay restoration on Fox Bodies. Got I do it. minor drivability issues. I do a little bolt-on performance stuff, interior restoration work. It's kind of a weird niche to be in. I started when I had the State Patrol car. had people reach out to me, man, I like my car. The paint's great. The interior's great. But my underhood, I'm kind of ashamed of. So, basically, I kind of fell into that thing where... I take somebody's car that's already at a high level and help them put it over the edge where they can go to shows and be proud to pop their hood. Because a lot of people don't like, you, you'll see them at car shows all the time. They have a beautiful car, why don't you pop your hood? Well, I don't like the way it looks. Yeah, I get it. So I like to do factory specific restoration on a lot of cars. Plug wires like they're supposed to be. Yeah. Even if it's a performance car, I wrap yep. the plug wires neatly. Um, all your accessories and everything get redetailed. Intakes come off, valve covers come off. Um, just trying to bring the engine bay up to another level where normally a lot of people are scared to do that because they think, oh my God, it's an engine bay. I can't get water on it. I can't do this. I can't do that. Right. No. We're going to bring it up to the next level for you. So that's what I do on the side. It's just a little part-time gig and it's worked out good for me. Well, tell us where they can find you at. All right. So I'm on Instagram at one fast 50 Yep. Or I am Southeast Fox Body. I'm on TikTok at Southeast Fox Body. And I am Southeast Fox Body on Facebook also. Great. Well, look. I just want to say thank you for allowing me the opportunity to actually show the car myself with my own video. But the videos you said were great too. So yeah, cool. this is one of those bad Fox Bodies you all that we talked about. So like I said you all, this is one of the cars that was nominated for Baddest Fox Bodies of 2023. And man, you see why. Amazing build, very classy, very modern as well. And man, he's keeping the nostalgia of the Fox Body community. So do me a favor, if you like this video, Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you go find him on Instagram, Facebook, and all those great places. And then leave a comment below about what you think about the car. It's your boy Kendall Sean, Built vs. Bought, and I am out.